Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can go ahead and create a rentable NFT. With rentable NFTs, you'll be able to one, still keep the owner of the NFT, but you'll be able to issue out the NFT and create a user of the NFT. And basically the user of the NFT will be able to use the NFT for a set amount of time and you can set an expiration date. And once that expiration date is reached, the user will no longer have you of that NFT. Now we're going to be using the ERC 4907 smart contract. We're going to deploy that, create our NFT and go ahead and set up these rentable NFTs. So without wasting any time, let's jump on the computer and let's get started. So right now you can see here, I have the ERC 4907 um, contract page pulled up on third web and we'll go ahead and link this contract down in the description below as well but you can go ahead and right here in the top right go ahead and hit deploy now i'm just going to make sure i'm on the right wallet here so we're going to go ahead and deploy you can go ahead and name your contract so we'll go ahead and name this uh rentable i'm going to name it rentable key and uh let's put a token id here and then you can go, go ahead and set your um, wallet address for your royalties and you can set your royalties right down here as well then you'll go ahead and select a network to deploy on we're going to just go ahead and choose uh the mumbai testnet here i'm gonna switch over and we're gonna go ahead and deploy this we're gonna confirm that transaction there to deploy and then we're going to sign to just go ahead and add it to our third web dashboard here. All right. Once our contract has been deployed, it'll bring us to our contract dashboard. We can see here um, under the Explorer tab, we can see all the write and read functions. And we'll go over those in just a bit when we go ahead and set up our first rentable NFT. Uh, but first, we need to go ahead and actually create an NFT so that we can go ahead and rent it out. So under our extensions here under NFTs, we're going to come on over and we're going to mint an NFT. Uh, we're just going to name this key. And I have some artwork here that I'm going to put in for our key NFT and I'm just going to go ahead and mint this one NFT here. We're going to go ahead and confirm the transaction once it pops up. And there we go. We have successfully minted our first NFT. Now the owner of the NFT is our wallet address here. You can see token ID zero. So we're going to, again, we're going to take a look back at the Explorer page here and we have some write functions here and we can actually one set the user of an NFT. So we can actually say token ID zero. We can set the user to a different wallet address and then we can go ahead and set the date and time in which the user user will be able to have user access to that NFT. Now this expires is going to be in a Unix timestamp. And if you do need a converter, we'll drop one down in the description below, but you can just come on over. You can set uh, right here, uh, the year, the month, the day, and the time in which the user will no longer have access to uh, user access to the NFT. So I'm just going to set this here for a few minutes. So we're just going to set this uh, for uh, today, which we are making this video. We're going to set this time here. I'm going to set it to uh, 15 and we'll set it for five minutes from now. And then we'll go ahead and convert. And then we just need to take this Unix timestamp here and we need to go ahead and set that right over here. So what we'll do is just execute this from our Explorer page, uh, which is basically going to call this write function on our contract. Uh, we just need to pay the gas to go ahead and set this. And once that transaction goes through, this wallet address now has user access to the NFT. So we can come to our read functions here. And if we scroll down, we can still check the owner of our token ID zero. So the owner of our token ID zero is still our uh, minted uh, wallet address here. So if I check here, um, this one is B8B2. So if I come to our NFT here, the owner of the NFT is still B8B2. But if I come on over to the read and I go to the user of, so I can check the user of token ID zero and the user of token ID zero is this new wallet address that we put in F6FA. 
Now, once the time hits, uh, which is going to be a few minutes from now, this wallet address will no longer have use of the NFT. But how can we go ahead and use this, right? Let's take a look at a uh, app that I made really quick just to kind of showcase and show how this can be used. It's just checking the user of and the owner of token ID zero. And depending on the addresses, we're going to check it against the wallet address that is connected to our app and it'll display us a certain message. So we take a look at our app here. Let me just refresh it real quick. And you can see that uh, we are the owner of this NFT. Now I can switch over to the wallet address that is the has user access and you can see here that the owner is still our original wallet address but this wallet address that I have connected has user access to this NFT now we'll wait until this wallet address no longer has user access and we'll refresh and take a look at this okay and now that the time has expired let's go ahead let's go back to our Explorer our contract Explorer tab here on our dashboard and if we go to read and we look at the user of and let's run token ID zero again you can see that we have a zero wallet address right over here and now that you come back to our app you can see it now has changed we do not have access to this nft but we can go ahead and switch our wallet back to the owner of the nft and you can see that we are the owner of this nft still with this wallet address right over here and there you go you went ahead and created your very own rentable erc 4907 smart contract and you see how you can now take advantage of using rentable nfts and how we can go ahead and check the owner of and user of a certain nft depending on their token id number now you can go ahead and get creative with your own nft projects if you are creating something unique with this go ahead drop it down in the comments below and we would love to check it out now if you did find some value in this video and you found it helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos just like this now if you have some questions or you need some support go ahead join our discord join the community of amazing builders just like yourself and if you have any questions or you need any support on anything we're happy to help you out there so again i hope you folks found some value in this video and that you enjoyed it and until next time see ya Thank you.